Hey friends, it's your boy Big TCG Fan coming at you with another video and today we are going to go into another game and this game is one that is one very close to my heart. It is Star Trek The Next Generation customizable card game. When this game first came out, I was a huge fan, of, I'm still a huge fan of Star Trek, but I was a massive going to conventions sort of fan and so I absorbed this game. I loved it. I played it a lot. So I'm really excited to bring this one to you guys. It's one that is, like I said, it's right up with Magic Gathering as far as like a place in my heart. It's a little old and beat up there, but so what we're going to do is we're going to open up uh, some of the packs. Oh boy, all the boxes. Look at how old it is. The box is all brown on the inside and it just tore. Like I just put my hand in there and it just tore into pieces. It's unfortunate. Yeah, so it is what it is. All right, so yeah, I and my favorite deck I played was a Klingon deck. Uh, my strategy was to annihilate my foes in war. You know, it seems appropriate for Klingons. Uh, my main focus with that was to um, to um, blow up their ships so they couldn't complete their missions. Because the way this game works is you plant you 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 and your opponent plant planets in play that your ships fly to and from you'll have your own base and so you fly around and then each planet you'll seed missions that you have to complete and then your opponent will see dilemmas that they have to de defeat see so no one can board can dream entire crew dies of your full turn unless three medical ship or sh ship returns to outpost first see so here's a a planet that you would seed there's a ship artifact so these are all the um oh, i believe that's a uh, common cards and then the Good ones will be in the back. And there's Romulans, Klingons, and Federation. So hopefully we'll get some of the really cool um, crew members. And I think, actually, that this was our rare. I think it's four down. Yeah, okay. But we'll find out as we go along, huh? So yeah, this this game is means so much to me. I have some great memories with friends that um we used to play this game and i can't wait to show it to you you know and actually play it and so what we'll do is i will build all three i'll try to build all three alignments a deck for all three and then me and an opponent probably um mr juni will throw down you know i'll let him pick the alignment he wants and then we'll go from there. So it should be a lot of fun. All right, Minden. Yeah, okay. Very cool. I definitely think it's the fourth from. Right when I go. Always doing this. Dr. Regna. See, and then they have these guys here. You see how he's yellow? They're neutral characters that you can play. Yep, see, this is the fourth card from is the rare. So we're going to move those back. Tasha Yar. Saw some. And you'll just see a bunch of others. So hopefully, and this is aligned with the Romulans, and this you could use Romulans or Federation planet or all three. Nice. Up oh, there's an outpost. Sweet. So we can definitely already do a Klingon deck. So hopefully we'll get all three. We should get all three. They're pretty common. The, it ends up being a filler card in this game. So um, one, two, three, four. Stack them, rack them, boom. There we go. So that way we can look them through and see what we got here. Science Vessel, Talus, Equipment, Event. I'm hoping to get some really cool characters for all three sides. Nice. Oh, it's a rare planet, okay. All right, that works, right? Man, and it's funny because as I'm opening them, the packs are slightly brittle just from being so old. One, two, three, four, yoink. I'm hoping to get like Worf and Picard, Kalos, anyone else that I can get who's you know, just the cool characters because that's part of what makes this game a lot of fun is nice Kern, Worf's brother. Nice. Yeah, he was in, he, I had him in my deck. A lot of fun. Oh my God. This is just bringing back so many cool memories of my, my younger years. Run about. But it'll be unfortunate if those are the ships we're using, huh? Over Earth Dilemma. Covert Oscillations, Dilemma. Nice, I remember that card. Up, oh, another Klingon Outpost. 
Genosaura, Torak, and oh, Dilemma. Oh yeah, this is a pain in the butt Dilemma. Look at that. Kill one away team member. I had those in my deck because like I said, the intent of my deck was to just kill my opponents. I literally focused the whole deck on that. Because if your enemy is dead, then they cannot complete their missions, correct? So here we go. Tomek. Most people like to play the Federation when they played this at first. When it came out, because like, you know, you have all the really cool characters. Picard and all them. Oh, the Borg Cube. Ooh, baby. Nice. Might have to see what happens with that one. That's a dilemma you don't want to be running into while playing. Two, three, four. Yoink. All right. Nice. So there you go. Galathon equipment, event, dilemma, interrupt, interrupt, polyothyre. We're getting plenty of everybody here, huh? Kel, dilemma, Loaxana Troy. Oh, you poor person. Whoever plays her, it's going to get stuck with her. And so you'll note, you'll see like they have like all sorts of little abilities. They have base stats, and you'll use the stats as when you're landing to fight, and they'll have these abilities. And you, what you'll do is these missions will require you to complete these abilities in order to to complete the mission, score the points. Oh, good, we get a neutral ship just in case. Pretty strong. They got like um, leadership abilities in order to be able to use them. So oh, we'll see if we can pull a Klingon on. You can see the difference. Range, weapons, because there's range distances between the planets. Oh, nice. The USS Galaxy. Nice. And so only specific characters have the, you see, have the little stars. So you have to have that many of those kinds in order to crew the ship so you can move it around. Oh, another one. Boy, the Klingons are getting the nice planets, aren't they? Very cool. All right, so let's one, two, three, four. Kind of like reminds me of Pokemon, huh? Another mercenary ship. Good, good. I like to get these neutral guys, another galaxy, because they will definitely help Vecma to fill any holes you have. As far as you know what I mean, as far as being able to Nikolai. Ooh, Shelby. Okay, good. See, that's good. It's going to be important to have that to deal with it. All right, let's see here. One, two, three, four. Yoink. Man, I'm getting lots of characters. That's good. That's good. Lots of everything. So hopefully we'll be able to... Oh, there we go. There was a Romulan outpost. Excellent. So now we can officially do a Romulan one and a Klingon one. Nice. Japan. Exocomp. And then an artifact. The artifacts are pretty cool. They're really rare. We might not end up using them. Um, because of the fact that we might not have enough to make it fair. You know what I mean? We don't want to overbalance it so one side's stronger. Oh, good. Klingon ships. Nice. Two Klingon ships. Yeah, like I said, I would take these ships and I would literally just be attacking my opponents. Didn't even care about the missions at all. Uh, nice. Look at that. An officer. Sweet. So we'll just do... I'll do another pack and then we'll call it, you know, and then in the next video we'll finish these packs. So I don't want to bust them all out now and make a long video. I try to keep my videos, say, like, at a certain range, Scout Vessel, Terran. Another ships, more ships. Wow, they're kind of clustered together, aren't they? All right, let's see. I hope we get someone really good here. Oh, nice, a special ship for the Romulans. Okay, all right, so there you go. That's the first half of the packs, and we'll come back tomorrow. We'll knock out the rest of the packs, and then we'll look into building some decks. So this concludes my video. Make sure that you like, subscribe, comment down below, share if you can. Peace out.